Now you can see me. I don't look washed out. So good morning, everybody. Um, what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be doing a couple of DIYs. Today, I have these bamboo stakes that you normally put them in the back of your yard when you're having a, a cookout or a party or something to kind of lighten it up. So what I'm going to be doing is removing this can and I will be replacing it with solar lights. So I will let you see how I do that. I have two of those. And the next thing that I'm going to be doing is I have these um, base and none of this match my decor. So it's a set of four. They're all different designs, but the same color. It's a there's a tall one. I hope I don't knock it over. Very tall one. So what I'm going to be doing basically is redoing them. They're sitting up here on the top, this top shelf. Well, on the top very very top of the cabinets that's where i had them sitting so i'm gonna do something with them i don't know what i'm gonna do i keep looking at my flower guys someone gave me this as a gift a present yesterday and when i first saw it i thought it was not real i thought it was a fake plant but i realized it was real so yes i really like that flower i like it a lot next diy that i'll be doing is going to be my and i'm not going to pick it up because it's kind of heavy i have a lantern that looks like a cage pretty much and here it is and so with this lamp i will be uh changing the color of it i'm gonna take i don't want it to be black anymore and i'm probably gonna put something on the sides to kind of make it stand out but we will see as i'm setting it up i'll get usually get an idea of what i want to do with it and then i go from there so now that I've explained what today's video is about, I'll catch you at the next go. I'm just kidding, guys. Now that I have explained what today's video is going to be about, we're going to just get to it and, you know, see how everything turns out. So just work with me because I'm going to be working my way through this. So if I tell you what items I'm going to be using, yes, those are my intentions, but I may not necessarily those things going now another thing that i'm going to be doing is i want to kind of fix up my back patio because i do want to start cooking on my grill you know people have been cooking anyways but i hardly go out here i do want to go out i have a nice little sitting area out here and i want to sit out there sometimes and maybe bird watch or whatever because i usually i do like to watch the birds sometimes you see some amazing thing so anyways i will catch you guys in just a bit let me get things together okay guys so here is my here are the supplies that i'm going to be using so you're going to need a solar light of course you're going to need this bamboo stick and i've had this bamboo stick probably about two years it's just been sitting in my garage because i didn't know how to work it i didn't know if i was supposed to take the stuff take this off and put fluid in here. I don't want to have to deal with stuff like that. And then I have this little bit of, I guess it's twine or whatever that's from the Dollar Tree left over from another project. And so those are the only things I'm going to be using. I'm going to use a glue gun and I'm going to be using shears. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this part off. And it's just a little, just a little roping part I'm cutting off. And then it easily comes out. You just take it out. So I'm going to set that aside. I'll probably just throw it in the trash. I'm not going to use it for anything. So then you're going to take your solar light and you're going to remove this off. Okay. And then I'm not going to take the tape off of this just yet. I'll wait until... I put it out. So what I'm going to do, you're just basically going to open it up and you're going to place this inside. It's simple. Okay, act like it don't want to go in there.
Okay, probably because of how I had it on the table. But this is how it goes, and I'm basically going to be hot gluing it so it'll stay in place, so at least I can work with it after I hot glue it. So I'm gonna back up just a little bit. I hope the sun doesn't <laughs> melt the glue. So, but this is the only way that I could get it to hold until I wrap it, wrap the bottom part of it tight. So I only had two of these from the Dollar Tree. I never thought I would be doing this with it when I bought them. I bought them because I was having get, getting ready to have a, a cookout at my house and I needed some more light in the back. And I bought those and kind of to keep the bugs away too because that fire sometimes it keeps, help keeps the bugs away. And I'm gonna have to figure out something else because I don't want to have to deal with putting fluid in there and buying it and replacing it and things of that nature. And you're just gonna make sure you go just just below the line just so it can hold good. Okay, so look how cute that is. Look at that. Look at, just look at that. And once I take this out. So look how cute, that, look at how cute that is. That is so cute. And so I did see this on another channel, DIY, and I was like, let me try that. But she did hers a little different from mine. So I would say this was inspired. I'm not gonna say I stole her idea totally, but it was inspired. So I'm just gonna keep wrapping it around, wrapping it around, wrapping it around. Pretty simple. I hope I have enough. I hope I have any more of this. I may have another one in the room. I don't know. You always post in the pictures, trying to look like you winning, or look like you always be working. Soaking the mud. Plus, it makes it look a little bit more uniform because it matches the color. Faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't add me. Because, baby, I'm a hiatus. I'm a hiatus. I'm a hiatus. And if I like this, I may get even more. I may go back and get more bamboo sticks and maybe about, I have two now. Maybe I'll go get four more, four lights and four sticks and do, and you know. I love them in the backyard. I could just put them out by the fence or whatever, you know, just to give it that extra light. But this is just an idea of, you know, what you could do. You could put this in your garden and your um, hedges if you have flowers or whatever. Um, just put it in an area to where you can have more sun. I have a tree, a uh, palm tree out in the middle of the yard and there's no lighting there. And I really hate that it's so dark like that. Look at there, guys. I had enough. I had enough to do it. So isn't that just beautiful? So what I'm going to do is when you get to the end, you're going to tie a knot. 
and tie a knot. And I'm basically going to cut off the access. And then wrap it around as tightly as you can. And then just tuck it in between the second row and the first row. Just kind of tuck it and it'll hold it. And then you can get your glue gun and just seal that a little bit into place. And that's it. And see how simple that is, guys? You see how simple that is? That's, isn't that just beautiful? That's just gorgeous, just gorgeous. I just think that's cute. And so it is just an easy way you can get your light during the daytime so it can light up at night. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just place it outside so, you know, you all can see. Maybe it'll get dark enough for, well, it's early in the morning now, so you're not going to be able to see anything. But it will give it time for it to generate that sunlight. So, yeah, I really like this idea. Let me seal the bottom part of it again so I can reinforce that. Okay. Cute. Cute. Okay, okay. I have just finished washing these up. Let me see how pretty they are, how they shine. They were dull before. But still, I'm not happy with the color. It looks okay, but I want everything to look more so like the cream, white, beige looking color. So I'm going to go ahead and change the color. I've had these things for years. I'm talking about like 14 years, maybe. And so it's time to do something else with them, guys. So what I'm going to do is I have these little paints. Um, these are little paint brushes, sponges that I got from Dollar Tree and I did have some white paint. I just put a bunch of it in the cup and then I also have some little brushes from the Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to sit here and paint them and I'll let you see what they look like afterwards. I'll catch you guys in a few. Peace. Okay, guys. Okay, so I have started putting the beads, the half beads that I have. I have a bag of beads. I got them from Amazon. And they're half beads. And what I'm going to do is basically be putting them along the lines of all of the wooden, the wooden side. And then once I get those all done, then I'm going to paint it. I just wanted to give it a different effect. It's, this is a cute one, but I almost threw this thing away. Because <laughs> it wasn't quite everything that I wanted it to be. So I decided, let me see if I can do something with it first. So let's see what it looks like. And it seems to be sticking pretty good with the hot glue. So hopefully they'll hold and they won't be falling off on me. It should hold pretty good because it's going to be in the house at all times up on that shelf. So I got a lot to do, so let me see. I think it's about 400 of these circles in there, in the bag. So. Once I put them all on, I'll probably paint it white. And I'm doing that with the glue gun to kind of keep the glue from following me. 
Because I'm going to tell you, I have strings of glue everywhere. And I have to try to clean them up once I'm done. It's not, as, it's not too bad cleaning up because once it gets cool, you know, it's okay. Plus, I have it on low heat, so I don't even know why it's dripping so fast. But these are all simple. I'm just doing the little glue on, and they're simple. So, All right, guys, I'm going to stop talking so much, and I'm going to get with it. Let me let you see how the first row looks before we um, call it quits. Okay, so this is how it's looking so far. You can see I got the circles going all the way down and I'm just gonna finish each one of these lines. I hope I have enough beads and I'll be doing it all the way around, okay? Late o'clock, body talk, there's no need to bring it up. Nothing you say makes it better. So guys, I'm at the end of this vlog, so please make sure you like, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, please don't forget to leave your comments down below, and until next time guys, I will catch you on the next go. Peace. Girl, I see your face everywhere, when I'm going out, you'll be there.